I'm Brian Green, field agronomist for Bex Hybrids out of eastern Kansas. So today I'm located in Donovan County, which is in very northeast Kansas. Uh, today is July 12th and want to give some tar spot updates and kind of where we're at today with the disease as well as some management tips. So if we think about tar spot here in 24, we go back to the beginning of June. And so that's when we first had confirmations of this disease showing up. Uh, it was lab tested to make sure it truly was tar spot. But even at that point in the year, when it was early June, pressure was still relatively low. It was kind of hard to find lesions out there in the field. Um, it might have just been a, a spot here or there. And then as we progressed to towards the last third and, and fourth week of June, we hit a pretty hot and a little bit more dry spell and that slowed down progression. But today, and especially as you think about the last couple weeks of weather that we've had, we've really had that perfect disease, tri disease triangle or, or that conducive environment that tar spot really needs to kind of thrive and survive. So as we think about tar spot, let's just recap the disease as a whole. And then as well as how do we identify it? What's something key that we have to think about when we're looking for this disease out in the field? So the first thing to remember with tar spot is that it is a fungus. So with it being fungal in nature, that does give us more management options like the use of fungicide to help us combat this disease year over year. So tar spot also survives in our residue and can overwinter, but then also what really makes this disease pretty aggressive and, and deadly in nature uh, is that it can also blow in by spores through wind and rain. So our fields do have two different avenues of infection that can happen year over year. Now, last year in 2023 in Northeast Kansas, we had our first big introductory year to it. It was pretty heavy pressure. So I think it's safe to say a lot of our fields in this geography had the inoculum in the soil. Um, and I think that's what we're starting to see the most uh, infection avenue coming from is those bottom leaves getting infected first and really coming from that overwintered inoculum versus new spores kind of showing up on the upper leaves and, and progressing downwards. So let's go ahead and take a look at the field behind me and really dive in deep into identifying this disease, right? So as we go to take a look at tar spot, what we're looking for is a lot of these little black lesions on the leaf. And so as kind of point right there, you see there's a tar spot there, there's multiple little specks. So even though pressure is still relatively low at this point, on this plant right here, we are seeing tar spot uh, about a leaf or two below that ear leaf. So it has progressed up the leaf or up the plant quite a bit to this point. So one key identifying factor that we need to remember when we're trying to uh, identify this disease is that those black spots cannot be rubbed off the leaf even when wet. So we we're fortunate enough this morning to have a little bit of dew on the leaf. So if I take that moisture, kind of make sure that that one lesion is nice and wet and then take my fingernail, you see here that that lesion is not scraping off. And so that is a key identifier that we are truly de dealing with tar spot in this field. Now, if that lesion and that black spot had rubbed off the leaf, we more than likely were just dealing with insect droppings. All right, now that we reviewed what tar spot is as a disease, as well as how to identify it and the key identifying factor um, to helping us truly understand are we dealing with tar spot in the field or not, let's get into some management tips. So the first one I wanna talk about is gonna be scouting. Scouting is important every single year, no matter what, but especially when it comes to the aggressive nature that is tar spot. Uh, we know tar spot has a fairly quick latent period or infection period, only takes about two to three weeks from time of infection of our plant to when we're actually seeing the physical symptomology. So by scouting, we're able to distinguish, do we have the disease out there? What's the level of severity? Where is it at on the plant? And then most importantly, what growth stage of corn are we at as well? Because that can also help play into you know, helping with maybe a fungicide decision. The second management tactic that I want to talk about is, is going to be understanding our hybrid susceptibility rating or inherent hybrid tolerance, however you want to look at that. So every hybrid on the market today has varying levels of hybrid susceptibility. So just understanding what that rating is for the hybrids that you planted on your farm, to me, I think will help really set up a, a great scouting pattern so if you planted, say, four different hybrids on your farm and two of them were a little bit more susceptible to tar spot, let's make sure that we're scouting those first and probably scout those a little more often than maybe those that have a little more inherent tolerance to them or are less susceptible. 
the caveat is don't just think that those less tall or, or less susceptible hybrids or more tolerant products we we can forget about right because we saw last year that under severe infection if fields were left untreated even on a on a more tolerant product we can still succumb to a quite a bit of yield loss with those and then the last management tactic is going to be the use of fungicide fungicides are going to be key to help us getting through this disease of tar spot uh, we want to make sure we're utilizing fungicides that are two to, to three modes of action. Um, also understand, too, that not all fungicides are proving to, to be equal, even with multiple modes of action when it comes to diseases like tar spot. Um, we've got some great PFR data uh, and research uh, in, in our guides, in our books, and online. You know, a lot of PFR proven products that show uh, multiple different fungicides tested over multiple uh, years and locations of PFR proven and, and ones that give us the best chance at ROI. From a local perspective, my top three fungicides I like to recommend for tar spot in this Northeast Kansas area are gonna be your Delaro Completes, your Veltimas, or your Trivapros. Those just seem like they're proving to be very effective against the disease like tar spot. Um, some other things to consider on how we can make fungicide the most effective uh, you know, in, in that application pass and that investment that we're making to help protect that investment you have in your field. Think about uh, PFR proven practice of time of day of, of application. You know, so we show that that more early morning application uh, is giving us the best chance at ROI with a fungicide application. So we're a little cooler in the morning. These leaves are, are laid out more flat and open. So we're getting the, the best coverage when it comes to a fungicide. Um, we can even have dew like we do here uh, this morning that do can act as as a spreader you know going across the leaf and helping that fungicide disperse um, and then some other pfr proven practices you think about are uh, gallons per acre you know so three gallons per acre or 15 to 20 gallons per acre you know so pfr proven is going to show that more gallons per acre out there is giving us the best chance at roi when it comes to fungicide i will say this when it comes to a disease like tar spot Sometimes we can't control what application method it is, whether it's an airplane or a ground rig or three gallons to the acre or 15 gallons to the acre. But just making sure that we do have fungicide, a, an effective fungicide out in our field at the right time, uh, protecting that investment we have is still gonna be so much better than not having anything at all. So with that, thank you for watching today's video. If you have any questions on tar spot or questions in general, please reach out to myself or your uh, nearest Bex hybrids representative and have a great day.